The holiday shopping season is in full swing on this Cyber Monday, but as Addie Miners tells us, more and more people are choosing to go back to the stores. She spoke with one local business owner about how sales have looked so far this holiday season. What seems easier to you? Going online and making a purchase with just the click of a button or going into a store to make your purchase? That answer might seem simple, but what might surprise you is that over 115 million Americans are choosing to go back to the stores this holiday season. Black Friday was nuts. We couldn't even stop really to take a break, so we're really looking forward to the month of December. Brittany Rittenbarker, owner of Pink Tag Boutique, was previously only doing online sales. But in October, she opened a brick and mortar store in the Oxmoor Center. I've heard all around that mall traffic is up, and uh, just from being here the short time we've been here, I can tell that mall traffic definitely is up. And it's not just the malls that have seen an increase in shoppers. Forbes reported that in-person shopping on Black Friday was up almost 3% compared to last year and up almost 5% in standalone stores. With COVID, we all had to kind of shop online. And I think um, just from hearing the customers walk into the store, people are happy to be back in the store and they prefer, a lot prefer to shop in person. According to a survey done by Retail Dive, the reason consumers are going back to in-person shopping, they enjoy the store ambiance, while others have concerns about shipping delays. But the main reason, they just like trying on items before they buy it. I think they like to fill and touch items. So a store offers that, you can't touch and fill things online. While online shopping is still set to rule the holiday season, expecting to bring in more than 11 billion in total revenue, Rennenbarger says she still expects positive things from her new storefront. It is slowly catching up to our online sales. Not as great still, but um, we haven't been here so long, so we'll find out. Addie Miners, WLKY News.